I am a elementary teacher leader at Brookside Elementary, sixth grade English teacher at Odyssey Academy, and an adjunct professor in the literacy department at St. John Fisher College. So we had a needs assessment that was conducted earlier in the school year with Brookside families and what really was elicited from that survey is that parents needed more help with Common Core standards, understanding it and then being able to transfer that into the home setting and really helping their kids understand the standards and what they needed to do with homework and whatnot. So far, the feedback has been fantastic. Parents really enjoyed the hands-on experience that they had manipulating the various standards in the three through five session, and they also really liked taking a look at Engage New York. The point of this was just to show you how, you know, starting in kindergarten, each standard has its place in the sequence of Common Core, and it's not random, and it's done starting in kindergarten. And so by the time they get to third grade, they're going to start expeditionary learning, um, where it focuses on more content, whereas core knowledge is focusing on content and skills. Now they're shifting into reading texts um, to meet the Common Core standards. With. So when you get a lesson plan, the first thing it's going to have, it's going to have your standards. Um, so that's the standard that it's focusing on and the learning targets for that lesson. And then it'll have an opening, sort of like an introduction, the work time, closing an assessment, and homework. Basically a Common Core State Standard is um, any educational standard that describes what students should know and be able to do in each subject in each grade. Okay, so now at each of your tables you have an envelope and this is focusing on one standard and it's the reading literature. Um, we have six of them in here. They each are for K through five and we are going to ask you to try to put them in order from K to five and then while you're doing that Look for some key terms that you notice that are different between each grade level. So, and look for the progression as you go from kindergarten up to fifth grade. To get them thinking about something they're reading, something they're watching, a video, key vocabulary words. So, for example, we watch CNN student news every morning, and they have to write the things they notice and the questions they have about it. Or if we're reading a book, a chapter, okay, what did you notice that happened in this chapter? What did you wonder about it? And this is a protocol that they use from third grade on, at least up until sixth grade, as far as I've seen it. So it's one way um, you could help your child at home if they're reading something. You could say, okay, make your I notice and wonder chart. And let's talk about what you did notice and then maybe some of the questions you have. We've received some really great feedback from the evaluations we have so far. Parents um, were very grateful and said that they have learned a lot through tonight. Um, yep, we've gotten um, a lot that say that the workshop has added to their skills at home to help their child and they understand more now what they have to do as a parent to better their student's education. 